Hey everyone, it's Leatherneck6017 from over at XDA Forms. Just going to put together a quick tutorial here on how to get EXT4 up and running on your Epic 4G. Uh, I've just ODIN'd a fresh copy of DK28, the non-extended version. It's pretty. I think it's probably pretty important uh, uh, to use the, the basic version of the DK28 um, leak, not the extended version. I also uh, rooted my phone and installed Clockwork uh, re mod and redirector using the one click root method. Um, so right now I have downloaded <coughs> two files, the uh, obviously the the one, version 1.2 of the one click ext4 um, zip uh, from the original posting on the thread. Um, also I downloaded a new kernel that he that Damien had posted further on. It's actually post number 263. It fixes the uh, the frozen battery charging icon when you're charging the phone when it's turned off. Uh, so uh, anyway, uh, to start with, I, I guess I'll have to extract um, the the zip file, and I'm gonna make it easy on myself. I'm just gonna extract it to uh, C ext4 just for ease of use with the command prompt. <clears throat> so now that's there. Uh, I'm going to replace the kernel file um, that came with the zip. I'm going to delete that and I'm going to go ahead and replace it with this one. Now I need to copy both of those files over to the phone itself. I just drop them in the, in the root SD card directory. Okay, they're both there. Uh, now I need to go ahead and uh, open up a command prompt. I'm going to switch to my... Actually, I guess I, I need to turn off the... Or I need to unmount the SD card on my phone first, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then remember, you have to have uh, USB debugging enabled on the phone for this to work, obviously. So I'll change to my ext4 directory that I unzip those files to. And we'll go ahead and start with the adb reboot oops, recovery. Let's see if I can get my phone in the picture here. Okay, phone's restarting. And it's gonna should boot into the um, stock Clockwork Mod Recovery version two five one zero, which it did. Uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it and just plug it back in. Make sure the get that audible sound. I'm using Windows Seven, so and then uh, we'll go ahead and uh, install the Prepare Zip. So install zip from SD card, choose zip, and that's all the way down at the bottom here, prepare.zip. Okay, so that looks like it worked. Um, now I'll go ahead and unplug it again. Plug it back in. I get the audible sound now. Uh, just go ahead and hit the up arrow and re and get that command to come back up. Okay. Looks like it sent the reboot command. And we're in the new uh, recovery screen, version 2.5.1.2. So the uh, next thing that you're going to do is on the computer you're going to go to your ext4 directory and just uh, double click on install ext4 bat now sometimes this will work right away sometimes it'll fail and uh, it'll say the device is not found if that happens then you just need to unplug the phone and do it over again yep device not found so i'm going to close out of that window 
unplug. <clears throat> plug it back in. Try it again. Looks like it's working this time. So this will take a couple of minutes. Um, we'll just wait it out, I guess. Now this will work if you if you don't. Um, you know, as far as the kernel is concerned, you can use the kernel that comes in the original zip file for the one click. Um, the 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 one from post number two hundred sixty three is not required. I should stress that it will work um, without that kernel. As you can see, I'm still in uh, recovery version um, point two, so nothing's changed as far as this is concerned. All of this is happening while the phone is still in recovery, and I haven't rebooted the phone ever since uh, ever since coming up into the new uh, recovery module. Okay, operating system is, or operation is now complete. We'll go ahead and exit out of that. We can actually close this too. We don't need a command prompt anymore. So now we should have uh, ext4 uh, file system. Actually, if we want to confirm it, we can open up a command prompt or keep that one open, I guess. And switch back to the ext4 directory uh, and type adb shell mount. And you can see here we've got uh, ext4 listed for the uh, data type, system type, and the cache type. So that tells us we're good to go, that it worked. And close out of that. Uh, now you just need to install your uh, your ROM, whichever one you're wanting to use. Install zip. Choose zip. Uh, flashable ROMs for me. And I'm using Midnight version 2.2. We're still in the uh, version point two of Clockwork Mod Recovery. It's important that you don't try to do this from the stock, or not the stock, the uh, the version of Clockwork Mod Recovery that's installed when you do the one-click root. It will fail every time. Looks like it worked. One thing left to do is uh, flash the kernel. So I've got the final version here. I'm going to go ahead and flash that. Just takes a second. Good. Now it's important to note if you uh, if you want to get back into this, uh, let's say you, end, you somehow end up in the um, original point zero version of recovery, you can uh, go back to the advanced settings and tell it to reboot recovery, and it will come right back into the uh, the new version of recovery. That works from uh, the new version or the old version. right back into it. If you use the three finger uh, method you will go into the old version of recovery. So that's about it. I'm going to reboot the system and uh, start using my Epic 4G with the XT4 file system running midnight uh, version 2.2.